What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow your girl on Instagram because you know we are growing the family across all platforms. But y'all, I am, I know I say this all the time, but I'm really excited about today's video. Obviously you guys can see I have a very special guest here with me today. Uh, it is the man behind the brand that I love and I talk about all the time, the creator, Jefferson Musanda, behind Musanda Apparel. So excited to have you here today. And obviously you guys can tell by the title, Jeff is styling your girl, okay? We are pulling looks from my closet. Yeah. He is piecing things together and is gonna show you guys how you can look fire and pull looks together from my closet. So Jeff, thank you so much oh, yes. for being here with us. And I figured why not start off the video with you telling us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I mean, first off, thank you for the introduction. She's far too kind, far, far too kind. So I was first introduced through fashion through dance, you know, through dancing on my dance team. I would create all of the looks, whether it be painting, ripping, um, finagling the look just to get us all looking together and looking right. I kind of took that passion and I brought it to my education where I went to Pratt. I graduated and got my BFA. Uh, and from there, I spent, you know, the next six years in New York just really studying and honing my craft. And now, I've created Musanda Apparel, which is kind of like, which is kind of my baby, my think tank for all of the, you know, for all of the <laughs> cool projects that I want to launch, all of the cool ideas. That's kind of my vessel in which I launch all of my ideas through now. Um, for my aesthetic, personally, I like to combine the two. I think style and design go together, mm -hmm. you know, intrinsically. Um, so I always try whenever I dress every day, I always try to make sure that I inject um, style um, and that I also kind of take what I have and kind of work with that to kind of put it in my own way. I love that. And obviously you guys know I am a huge advocate for shopping your closet. So I figured what better way than to have, you know, my own in-house expert come here, style me, pull looks from my closet and you guys will be able to see kind of his thought process, you know, giving us some tips and tricks on how to pull different looks together. So we've got four different looks for you guys today. Uh, run us through real quick again, what we're kind of going through today in terms of looks. Okay, so we've broken all the looks into four concepts. One of the concepts is gonna be night out. The next concept is gym wear. The next concept after that is gonna be a brunch look. And then we do a casual flex. I'm sorry, not a casual flex. We're doing a corporate, corporate flex. flex. Okay, yeah, for so all the corporate people out there, we're gonna do a nice yeah. little corporate flex yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that kind of broke give you a good variety of kind of like looks that go from day to night yeah. and we're going to use a lot of pieces that you know if you don't have in your closet you might want to think about getting i love that so without further ado y'all let's jump right in Morning. all right so we are now in my closet and jeff is going through uh looking through pieces so i guess kind of walk us through your thought process when you are pulling a look together where you start kind of what you're looking for here mm -hmm. All right, so just uh, going through the closet, I'm just kind of looking for the pieces that jump out at me, like something like this kind of jumps out at me. You know, whenever I'm styling somebody, I always take that person into consideration. Luckily, I know Nora very well. So, you know, I kind of have a good idea of her style, like something instantly that jumps out at me that I know we're gonna have to work with. It's like, you know, something like this. You know, these are like classic kind of like Nora pieces that I kind of want to see if we can kind of like refresh and kind of rejuge. There are also a few concepts that we've kind of put together for you guys to kind of like help guide us kind of like through a few different situations in which um, these styling applications would work. So when you are putting together an outfit, I know like some people, especially like, you know, when we're getting dressed, we're like, okay, I pick my shoes first and then I know, okay, then I pick the shoes and then I go from there. Or some people are like, I really want to wear this shirt and I kind of base it around there. Do you have kind of like a rule of thumb of where you start when you're putting together an outfit or kind of, does it kind of depend for you? Um, okay. So for me, I guess first off you have to start with, um, the event. I guess, you know, where you're going, what you're doing, um, that'll put a lot of context around, you know, the things you're gonna need to wear. So, for example, one of the concepts that we're doing is brunch. So, you know, when going to brunch, you wanna think about, okay, we're going to brunch, okay, how do you wanna feel? 
if you want to feel you know comfortable if you want to feel cozy you might pull you know something like this you know something like this that's going to be soft you know it's warm you know it feels very cozy feels very nice and then from there you just kind of build the outfit from there if that's the top you're going to do then maybe you want to do something that is ha huh, a little bit baggier no let's see something a little bit mm -hmm. let's say you do something a little bit baggier kind of something like this Boom, that gives a nice kind of cool, casual vibe. And then um, to kind of keep going with the flow, let's say we take these, you know, the runners, we put that together like that, cuff up the bottoms, really cute. You know, maybe you put a nice belt. I would keep it clean just like that, but that's already, you know, the start of like a really cool, casual outfit that you can wear for brunch, something that's casual and it didn't really take too much effort. I love that. And I love how you put the, the foam runners together with that because I honestly wouldn't have probably picked that. I think I would have gone like a traditional route, but I think that adds like a little bit of like spice, a little yeah, je ne sais quoi, you know? Yeah. I love that. different like events or looks that we're probably going to pull for today all right so event one um is going to be brunch you know brunch is a very popular everybody goes to brunch it's a fun thing to do you know on a saturday or sunday and it's a really great kind of like in between you know you can go dressy or you can go casual so i feel like that's a really, really now we can dress for a lit brunch or we can dress for like the little fufu brunch that no people just it's gonna for. be a lit brunch okay because you know we do lit brunch. brunches over here <laughs> definitely gonna be a lit brunch so um definitely gonna be i definitely want to play with proportions so we're gonna do uh something a little oversized oversized jacket yeah as i was saying about proportion proportion is something that um, playing with in your wardrobe can be really fun, you know, throwing on an oversized jacket and pairing that with, you know, a super skinny legging, you know, wearing a baggy jean, pairing that, you know, with a crop top. Those are kind of ways to, you know, manipulate your body to kind of change it to kind of give you a new feel and new vibe. So we're definitely going to play with that for brunch. I love that. And I think a lot of people sometimes forget playing with proportions because they think if you start baggy, you have to stay baggy. Right. And then the outfit, I feel like, swallows you. It, like, overpowers you. So proportions, guys, definitely right. important. And also in terms of shopping, too, um, not staying so um, fixed on your size, giving yourself the freedom to kind of maybe buy a jacket that's two sizes bigger than you normally would. Or, you know, buying, you know, a pair of jeans that are two sizes up. That way you can you know, sit it a little bit lower mm. on your hip. You know, that, those are things too that are opportunities that a lot of people miss just because they think, oh, I'm a medium, so I have to go with a medium. Mm. Look at all these tips, guys. So the second, um, the second kind of event that we're kind of setting up uh, to style around is going to be um, a night out. Mm. So a night out, you know, with the girls, that offers, you know, something that offers a look that can be a bit more sexy, a bit more elevated. You know, you can kind of play with your femininity or your masculinity if you'd like to, depending on how you feel that night. Um, so for that, we're definitely gonna go dark. Um, I think I wanna use the Musanda sweats. Where are those at? Do something with the Musanda sweats. Yes, the Musanda sweats. You know, just that. to give it dark. And then we're gonna do that with a pound. Something like this, something open toe. Um, I know it may seem a little weird, but just stay with me. <laughs> just stay with me. Sweats and I'm heels, y'all. Listen, weird. it's gonna be I a look. I'm cooking in my brain. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit about yeah. what we're gonna do with the second category. So what are we thinking for the third look? Okay, so for the third look, I'm thinking, um, I'm calling it corporate flex. Um, in this kind of segment, we're gonna kind of play with, you know, structured outerwear, um, something appropriate for work, 
but then something that you can obviously wear from day to night. Um, something that is clean and crisp, but that you can wear all day. So that's gonna be the third one. And the fourth and final one, we're calling gym wear. You know, um, athletic wear has taken over. Everybody has mm -hmm. athletic wear everywhere you go. People have on Nike tech suits. Mm -hmm. They have on skin body suits. You know, it's just completely taking over to popular. And you know, a lot of the times you look like you're going to the gym, but everybody knows you. <laughs> so that's gonna wear, that's what we're gonna play with. And for that segment, I wanted to play with maybe some of your um, Fear of God essential pieces. Where those, some of those hoodies, I wanted to play with those. So, this, I definitely want to get into this essential hoodie using this. You know, I definitely love the texture of these skin bottoms. So I'm definitely going to use this and then styling it with these also just to add a little bit more warmth. Some layering. We love a good layer. I love that. I'm definitely going to play with texture. So, um, let's get into some of these. Put in these looks together. Let's get into the looks, you guys. Cool. Okay, so. This cute, is, cute, cute! Uh, right, so this is the look that I put together for a night out. And, you know, so first, you know, referring back to what I was saying about, about you know, making sure to have the context. The context is always important. So, putting it into context is that, you know, we're going for a night out, you know, with the girls. You want to have an elevated look. You know, you want to feel good. But, you know, you're going to be out all night, so putting together things that she had from her closet. You know, I love this clean, long sleeve um, uh, leotard that she had. Um, the texture is very nice. It has this nice, like, kind of, like, ribness that goes all the way around that I really love that lends itself to be elevated with the turtleneck. We just folded it down and paired it with my, you know, my Musanda collar. And then we used the Musanda sweats and we paired it with a pair of heels just to elevate the look. The zippers going down the front are really cool. They elongate the leg and you can kind of play with, you know, having- I love that, I love that down. detail. You know, I like to have it a little bit more like asymmetric, it just makes it a little more fun, a little more perfect. And then, you know, we just gave her a little bit of a layering piece, not something for her to wear, but I just felt that, you know, just something to kind of break up, you know, this area here, you know, so to add, you know, and to add another texture as well. I'm really big on mixing textures. So for me, the more textures you can add, the more interesting you can make the look, especially when you like to wear a lot of black. It's really good to mix textures. That way it gives the look, you know, a bit more depth. Which I love. And that was actually gonna be a question of mine. Like, should people mix textures? I think sometimes people are like, if I'm wearing leather, I gotta do leather on the bottom. And if I have like sweat material, it has to match. Like, is it okay to kind of like mix and choose different textures. Yeah, for it's definitely okay. I mean, that's where personal style comes in. You know, it, it has to feel right for you. Anything can work for anybody. There are no real rules, you know. So mix the textures, play with them, not only the way they feel, but the way they look. You know, something like a leather here gives you a little bit of shine. You know, the cotton sweatpant is a little bit dull. So it gives a, a nice contrast and a nice play for the eye. Love it. All right, next look. So for the next look. Yeah, so for the next look, the concept that we're going for is gym wear. So this is for, you know, all of the people who love, you know, their Nike text works, their, you know, essential sweatsuits. Um, you know, people who love to be in their loungewear, whether they're in the house or out the house. So what we decided to do is just to kind of take her, take this hoodie that, you know, one of her favorite hoodies Sure you guys have all seen it. With the skin <laughs> leggings, and we paired it with the with the back, kind of like side to the side a little bit. Yeah. I kind of like what it does, you know, with the hips in this area kind of here. It's giving body. Yeah, it's giving yeah, it's giving body. Yeah, it's giving body. Um, you can already see she likes it because of the way because of her pose. She's yes. like contrabasto on that leg. Um, yeah, so we paired it again with the tights, and then you know kept it in the family with the easy. I love this look and this look kind of like you said it's like you know athletic but I'm cute I'm put together I'm not going to the gym but I look like I am but it's still very stylish and chic so I feel like I love this and I love the color family like how you kind of yes. stayed with the same tones yes 
Um, another tip for styling is, you know, if you don't want to think about it too much, just stay monochromatic, stay within the same color family, it makes it really easy, and then you can play with it by playing with something that's a little bit warmer, with something that's a little bit paler, you know, again, we're playing with textures, it's a nice, beautiful, chunky knit with this kind of like terry cloth kind of feeling legging. Mm -hmm. And then we have, you know, the socks that are also in the same color family just to give it a touch. No, I love this. And I really like how you mentioned monochromatic. At least I used to think this, that monochromatic meant like the same exact color. And I don't think people realize like as long as it's in the same color family, we're still good. So I love this. If y'all see this on the gram, <laughs> mind your business. All right, next look. Now we're here with our Third look. This is a brunch look. And uh, so the reason I kind of went with this, just thinking through a closet and knowing Nora, she's very bright, very vibrant. So I definitely wanted to go something that matched her energy. Um, so, you know, I was watching, I was actually watching one of her past videos and I saw this dress. And when I saw it, I was like, I gotta get my hands on the dress. So we're using the long kind of remnant dress uh, from Zara, I believe mm -hmm. it was. Yep, yeah. Zara. And then we just paired it with an oversized denim jacket and then an oversized flannel, just to kind of give it um, a little bit more of a casual vibe. You know, the dress lends itself to a more kind of like an elegant sleek look. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of bring it down a bit, we wanted to Play with proportion, like I was saying earlier. Oversized pieces kind of give a cozier, kind of a warmer feel. The flannel gives a really nice texture, and then the print matches very well with the dress, but then also gives you other colors to play with. You know, the yellow's in the shirt and it's in the dress, but then now we have the red. Mm -hmm. You know, you can add a red bag, you know, you can do red accessories. I kind of wanted to go with like a natural kind of like, a natural kind of like earthy kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have you know, her earrings that kind of give that kind of vibe as well. You know, we have the tortoiseshell glasses, you know, with the bronze kind of trim on them, which give it a really nice touch. Everything kind of adds to the warmness. That's why it kind of all makes sense. Mm -hmm. Even when you go down to the shoes, we decided to pair the mules with a sock. Just again, you can do whatever you want. It's fun, it adds another look, and it adds another vibe. Just a different way to wear your sandals. This honestly might be my favorite look because this is just giving artsy, it's giving elegance, but it's like I'm approachable, you know what I mean? Like it's like, okay, yeah, I dressed it up, but I'm still really cozy and cool. The socks is something I never would have thought of. And I'm really happy you did that because now it's like making my brain work and really yeah. think. Um, but I love this. Yeah. Ah! Love this. And when it comes to style, you can play with it. You can be anybody you want to be. Like, I feel like in this look, you need to speak with like a Nigerian accent. Yes. Like, it needs to, yeah, like, doesn't it An work? accent. Yeah. Oh my God, yes. Like, my name is Efua. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. You know? My name is Efua. I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, Really, really love this. I would have never thought of this, but here's a look, you guys. All right, and on to our last and final look. All right, guys, and here we are with the final look. Yes, so here we are with the final look. So, this one is our corporate flex. So, uh, this look, I wanted to create something that you know you could wear to work, something that would be a professional be comfortable and see something that you can wear, you know, to the office and then, you know, to the bar. You know, even if you're working from home, you know, from the waist up, it's still very interesting. Uh, it gives you lots of texture. Like I said, I love texture. Texture, you have the denim shirt, and we have the black slacks, and for our pop of color, we do the green uh, pump, which is really nice because you just get a peek of it, peek of the toe. I also like the, the pointy toe on her because it lengthens her leg, uh, giving her, you know, at least another like few inches to the eye. Cause y'all know I'm a itty bitty. Yeah, I said that also I love, this is typically a crop sweater, which would have a little bit of midriff revealed, but you know, we layered it with a denim t-shirt underneath, which brings the professionalism up, and then also breaks the denim shirt up a lot as well. Yeah, I love this. This is like super fun. Literally, my cousin Sabrina's over there, that's why I keep looking over there, but she said, you know, very tech, 
very like Jeff said, like Silicon Valley, like, you know, I'm working at, you know, Google, here I am, but like super cute and fun. I really like this, I feel good. I still feel professional, but trendy at the same time. Like I still feel like I have fashion and you can tell my personality, which I love. And the layering guys, the layering has definitely been my favorite. Layer, 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 layer play with textures and layer as much as you can. So I love this. Um, adorable. I like it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So, you know, obviously we were talking a little bit about playing with different styles and pulling different looks. Um, is there anything you can maybe tell us around like learning maybe, you know, what type of looks maybe we'll pull for a certain type of style, kind of what's the best like way to go about that? Yeah, so coming up in school, um, I was taught about four different style profiles that most people kind of fall into. And those style profiles are sporty natural, romantic, ingenue and avant-garde and just to break those down a little bit um so sporty natural is gonna be you know your girl that you know is very comfortable she doesn't like a lot of fuss examples uh of sporty natural would be like a kelly Rowland or a gabrielle union somebody who it doesn't take much to kind of put them together but they always look great um the next one i think was ingenue um, somebody that would be an ingenue would be someone like a Sky Jackson. You know, forever young, very innocent looking, um, almost like, like a baby spice. Mm. Kind of. That's how her character was kind of run. So okay. very like innocent, you know, on pure waist, frills, lace. That's the kind of thing mm, like an ingenue uh, would wear. And then we have um, avant-garde. Avant-garde, that's a very popular term, mm -hmm. just for somebody who is fashion forward, likes to take risks. A great example of that would be a Rihanna, you know, lots of dark colors, edgy. Mm -hmm. That's somebody who would be um, an avant-garde. And the last one would be romantic. Romantic typically lends itself to um, a woman who likes to dress a little more sensual, really likes to... Um, really likes to show off her shape and her body. An example of a romantic would be Beyonce. Yeah. You know, Beyonce is always, you know, in a figure hugging gown, you know, um, sweetheart necklines, mm -hmm. very voluptuous. That would be somebody who would be romantic. So when you think of these four kind of profiles and you think about, you know, the way you like to dress and the way you like to feel, for example, someone like Nora, I would consider her a sporty natural. So, you know, whenever I see her, her hair is never too much fuss. It's over to the side, it's up in a bun, you know, the makeup, it's never too extreme. And yeah. the outfit is always just nice, clean to the point. Nothing on that, nothing around that's like not necessary. Uh, so those are kind of the four kind of profiles that you want to think of when you're getting dressed. Those things will help you out a lot. Yeah, and I think it's fun to kind of just have an idea of knowing what those profiles kind of mean. Obviously, think a little bit about your closet. Think about the things that you guys already have. Obviously, you know, I am a huge fan, like I always say, of shopping your closet. So shop your closet, see the things that make you feel comfortable and what you feel good in. And I think these profiles and a lot of the tips that Jeff gave us today are gonna be super helpful to make sure show we all looking good and cute okay this is given corporate bay okay <laughs> this is given work wife silicon money okay love that for us uh but yes jeff thank you so much for being here today on my channel i know yeah, this, this was like fun. super helpful for me just to kind of go through my closet and you know revamp some things hopefully you guys learned some things as well um as always i will have all this information linked down below for you guys and sonda apparel will be there as well for you guys to shop um, a lot of these pieces, obviously, I've had for a while in my closet, so if I can link the exact things, I will. If I can't find the exact thing, obviously, I'll link some similar options for you guys. Uh, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.